Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us read the question on the slide. Factorize a square minus 2ab plus b square minus c square. We observe that first three terms of this expression are identical to our identity a minus b whole square. We have a minus b whole square as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So let us substitute a minus b whole square in our question instead of writing a square minus 2ab plus b square. Now we have this expression. Can we compare it to any of our identities? We know that we have an identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. You can notice that this expression looks very similar to this one. Only that a is equal to a minus b whole square and c square is equal to b square. So let us use this identity and solve it further. We use our identity. Instead of a, we will use a minus b plus we have c so plus c and we will have a minus b minus c. What we are doing is in our identity we are taking a as a minus b and b by c. We are substituting this in our identity. After reaching this step we have to see can we simplify it further. It is easily visible that these terms cannot be simplified further and hence we have the required factors of our question. Let us read the question. Factorize m power 4 minus 256. We know that m power 4 can be written as m square whole square and 256 can be written as 16 whole square. So our question now becomes to find the factors of m square whole square minus 16 whole square. We use the identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So let us use it. We have m square plus 16 into m square minus 16. So we have reached two factors of m power 4 minus 256. Let us see can we factorize any of them further? Yes we can. m square minus 4 whole square can be written as m plus 4 into m minus 4 again using this identity. So let's do it. We will get m square plus 16 into m square minus 4 whole square and on solving it further by using the identity we will get m plus 4 into m minus 4. Hence we have reached a position 
where none of the terms can be simplified further and there is no plus or minus sign between the terms that is they are basically the products so this is the required factorization of m power 4 minus 256 let us read the question on the slide factorize x square plus 5x plus 6 let us see can we use a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square but we can see that instead of a square we will be able to write x square but instead of b square we don't have a perfect square it is 6 and 6 is not a perfect square so we can say that it won't be possible for us to use a plus b whole square but we have another identity x plus a into x plus b is equal to x square plus a plus b times x plus a b let us try to write x square plus 5x plus 6 in something similar form to our identity so let us start we start with writing x square leave some space in the middle 6 can be written as 2 into 3 now x is also there if we do 2 plus 3 we get 5x which is also in our question that means x square plus 5x plus 6 can be written as this one and hence we can apply apply our identity so let us apply our identity now we have a as 2 so we can write x plus 2 and b as 3 so we can write x plus 3 hence x plus 2 and x plus 3 are the required factors of x square plus 5x plus 6.